Well, good, good afternoon, good evening, or morning, whichever time you guys are deciding to watch this. This is Nate with Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. Hopefully that blur that I'm seeing isn't on my camera. There we go. Probably got a finger across the camera there, but anyway. All right, so this is, again, this is Nate with Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. Got a really nice triple wide for you, as you can see from the beginning frame there. And we got rain again. Raindrop right on the lens. No more raindrop. All right. Once again, it is pouring down rain out here. It was sunny when I left. It's also right next to a really busy road. It was uh, even sunny when I got here. Now all of a sudden it's pouring down rain. I'm not sure where these clouds came from. So uh, anyway, once again I am at uh, River Bend Homes in Lewiston, Idaho. I'm trying to be a little brief on the outside here. Hopefully you're liking these videos. If you are, don't forget to uh, leave a comment, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Really helps the videos perform better. Like I said, once again, it's a really nice, really large triple wide. And trust me, I know you're gonna like this one when we get inside. A couple of big surprises for you. One I've never seen before. Of course, I only have uh, 50 videos up on the channel at the moment, but uh, I know uh, it's definitely one I've never seen before. I haven't even seen a bedroom like this one on uh, any of the other channels that I've watched before I started doing this. Well, come on. As you can see, when you walk in, you don't have uh, your living room straight out in front of you. You don't have your kitchen straight out in front of you. You have what appears to be, right off to the side over here, a dining room. Of course, it is carpeted. Me having a kid, and I know a lot of other people that watch these aren't a fan of carpeting in the dining room, so I'm sure you could probably option that out and get some hardwood flooring or something of that nature. A really nice fixture above your dining room table there. See if I can get you a better view of it. Of course, really nice window, but I'm sure you could probably continue on with this flooring right into your dining room if you wanted to. Nice little place to sit down, take your shoes off. Now back over here, we do have a nice little bar sitting over here. Put all your, your drinks, your liquors, whatever else up there along with whatever you choose to and nice cabinetry down below there. I'm telling you, this rain is throwing me off my game. Not used to filming in the rain. I've done it in the snow before, but never in the rain. Oops, we can't show too much of that there kitchen. Try not to anyway. So you got a really big living room over here and it looks like there's another dining room right over there. Because I'm giving away some of the kitchen. See how I am? I tell you, just rain just really throws me off my game. Nice big windows. There again, you got that vaulted ceiling. Really big living room. Now, there is no sliding glass doors, but as you can see, you got a door right off of here. I'm sure you could probably maybe even option in a sliding glass door right there if you wanted to. That way you could set your deck up out there, have your barbecues, whatever else. Once again, really big living room. And that over there where those double doors are, that's the master bedroom. I know it's kind of right off your living room 
but trust me you're gonna like it when we go in now let's come take a look at your kitchen where should we start this thing is big nice wrap around counter here let's see what do we got one two three four I think you could fit at least six at minimum six people at this bar probably eight easy eight people easily at this bar really nice countertops you got your sink of course is in the bar that in the island bar whatever you want to call it because there is a whole separate island right here with another sink I think they call this one a vegetable sink but let's get back to this one over here and you've got drawers above every one of your doors really nice stack of drawers there and you got the stainless steel Frigidaire appliances all the way throughout now I can't even hardly reach this thing and I'm almost six foot Tells you just how tall it is. Yes, I know you can hear the traffic going by. There are some open windows in here. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I am at Riverbend Homes in Lewiston, Idaho. I know I was trying to get through that outside pretty quick because it was really coming down. I really like this backsplash that they used and this under cabinet lighting. Get you a close up of that backsplash there. Nice glass hood. I said this kitchen is really big. Your stove and your microwave. Plenty of room for your wine whatever else you choose to put in there you can kind of display just about everything with these lights in there and then we've got the big old hidden pantry and I believe there we go and this thing goes way down there Now you can turn the light off, so you have to turn it on every time you come in, or in this case, they've got it taped up so that it stays on, but it will turn off automatically after a certain amount of time. It turns on automatically when you come in. It has a little sensor right there. So that is a really nice pantry. I'm sure you, you can put a lot of stuff in there. As some people would say, that is definitely worthy of the pantry dance. Now, so from over here, we'll just kind of come back over here. We went that way and around, so now we're going to go this way. And over here, we've got what would be your office or a little sitting room. So you can see they've got it set up as an office. And once I get dimensions from the floor plans, I'll uh, throw up the size of the rooms and stuff. There again, there's your kitchen over there. You got your guest rooms down here. And, oh, I did not. We missed this when I did a walkthrough. Well, this is a surprise. What do we got here? So that's going to be your furnace and your hot water tank. Obviously, I don't believe this is your actual laundry room. This is a nice little, uh, I don't know, this wouldn't really be a pantry. This would definitely be a storage room. But plenty of room for a stand-up freezer here. Yeah, I didn't see this when, we did our quick, when I did a quick walkthrough. Nice. I know some people like to do canning and stuff, and I remember when I was a kid, we had a shed that had a whole bunch of shelves like that and we would, as a family, we would can stuff and we had that shed packed full of canned green beans, carrots, all the vegetables and 
peaches, pickles, you name it. Jellies. My mom was big on making jelly when I was a kid. We used to go down and pick our own blackberries, pick our own peaches, our own apples. And mom would do all kinds of stuff with them. So this is going to be your living, or living room, your laundry room. <laughs> like I said, this rain has just got me all off my, all out of whack today. And there's going to be your, your washer, your dryer with some nice cabinets above there. Non-adjustable shelves, but probably not going to be putting a whole lot of stuff up there. Do you got a sink in here with some cabinets above it? Really nice size laundry room. And since there was a uh, stuff over there, the that extra storage room with the hot water and stuff, I guess that's just a like a uh, closet. So I guess you put your garage right there and then you can come in here take your shoes off your coats and coat closet yeah, that's what I was trying to think of jeez <laughs> I could almost think I'm new at this now coming out of the laundry room we're gonna come back this way this is gonna be your guest bathroom now look at the size of that counter just look at the size of everything in here there isn't anything small about this house I'm telling you this is a really nice home. Really nice fixtures up there. Even though I'm soaking wet, hello Raiden. You get to see your dad while wet. Still out filming, trying to get this done, even though the weather isn't the best. We got our uh, one piece shower tub combo. And for those of you that are new here, I wave to my kid in every video started with him wanting to or saw me in one of the mirrors i should say while i was editing the video and uh, he tried to wave to me and obviously i couldn't wave back because it was recorded video he kind of bummed about it so now i do i wave to him in all my videos this is a really nice room really big room i'll put dimensions up once i get the floor plans as i stated uh oh, no light. Where's my light switch? Well, there is no light in here. Well, I guess I didn't walk through this one as good as I thought I did. It's gonna be bedroom number two. Now I'm not sure if you can option this in as a four bedroom or not. Not sure if that other room that's an office can be made into a bedroom. I'll have to see when I get the floor plans. So this closet isn't quite as big. Still good sized closet. Nice size room. Kind of a unique layout. Because as you're coming down the hallway here, I'll turn back around. You can see both doors are set at an angle and come into a Y. Kind of a unique layout. Now on to the master. So once again, you've got these double doors that come in. Coming into your master bedroom. We'll wave once again since I'm straight in front of the mirror. So, to this side, you've got your master bedroom. Really big bedroom here. So there's your doors over there. Your closet's going to be that door over there. It's like these are cascade windows that come with this home. And I'm not sure what all those numbers stand for, but I'll see if I can get you a shot of them. See if you can, if you know anything about windows, leave me a comment. Let me know what those numbers mean. I'm sure I could probably look it up, but uh, 
So you, you guys can do that for me and leave me a comment. Let me know what all those numbers mean and if those are good numbers for the windows. I know it's definitely toasty in here. Really big closet. So you got your hangers or your hanging rods, I should say. Lots of cabinet space in here. Dual hanging rods there. Or long, whatever it is she wears, it's long. Some of them don't wear just dresses, but you got plenty of room for all that. Now let's go take a look at the master bathroom. So you've got some more cabinetry in here. Really nice cabinets. Now they don't have the soft closed doors, but I'm sure you could probably option those in. Huge, huge soaker tub. I know the camera doesn't do it justice, but that thing is, I would bet you, five foot long. And deep. Like I said, I know the camera doesn't do these tubs justice. I do like these square sinks, as you, most of you know, those are my favorites. And you can't help but be in the, in the mirrors in this home. And your water closet over here. So again, you got really nice fixtures up above there. Lots of cabinet space down below. And then last but not least, we've got our tile shower. Now this home is made by Kit Homes, and I know they do really nice tile showers. And I've seen in some other homes where that tile will actually go all the way to the ceiling. Got a nice little corner shelf there. Really nice bench. It's nice to see that the bench isn't up against that wall. Because I see them up against that wall most of the time, and then you're like standing to stand right up against it just to stand in your shower. I prefer to see it on the side like that so you can sit down, do what you got to do and not have to be standing either or sitting underneath the shower or uh, having to stand up against it. So hopefully you like this video. I know it's a little on the long side. I'll try to cut it down a little bit. And if you like this video, don't forget to uh, leave a comment down below. Hit the like button. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell. Once again, this is Nate, and I will see you in the next one.